Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the gameplay of Ramu. Going to enter day three. Only I just noticed there's actually this monitor thing. Because I, if I go correctly, the last time I saw, I just saw this, the plan, the tea cup thing, and then this thing as well with the sushi. That's not sushi, sushi apparently. Yeah, there it is. Happy time, sushi bites. That's not sushi, and then octo flakes. It's just sweet. I mean, there's this club that I didn't notice earlier. What the heck? I love Sabrina's sense of adventure. Hey, look at that! It's Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia, Australia, and then there is Japan. Uh, Philippines and dress of, dress of Saudi Asia stuff. Well, rumor, Robot House is from Australia, so gotta note that in there. <laughs> Alright, I wanna water the plant. Yes! She is their finest work. <sighs> well, last time was something. Ah, Sabrina. Maybe after all this thing, I'll be as free to scout around the house as I was for uh, before two days ago. I cannot do anything with this computer though. Mm. It's, it's odd. I do not find any knitting there as much. Also, okay, that's some pattern you met there. Despite me being able to go here by myself by dragging the mouse uh, there. But you decide to go around. From that thing, huh? Alright, buddy. Do you still have something from your inventory, I wonder? Or is it all wiped out from the previous day? Because I think I did mess up there. Hmm. By not doing anything f from the fire pit at day two. Alright. Oops. Yeah, we, we discovered a couple of these uh, notes as well, so uh, yeah, that's something. Alright, you know what? Hmm, this is for some reason white. Oh, I can select that. What? What is this? What's that? What's that? I'm curious. Hmm, not something in particular yet, huh? Could be something there that I am still not able to know what that is. Window and stuff. Alright. Day three. Here we go. Good morning, Rumu. I was worried you might oversleep. I hope you are not suffering any residual effects from our emergency shutdown yesterday. But it is a new day. I thought perhaps you would like to visit... David and Cecily's bedroom. <laughs> I know you do. I should never have suggested otherwise. Would you be very angry at me if I said they are absent again? Oh. I am incapable of anger. For that, take my word. You should be grateful. Mm? In fact, David and Cecily have gone mountain biking today. David enjoys the sensation of speed and the air at high altitude. Cecily enjoys neither of these, but accepts them as necessary adjuncts to making David exercise. <laughs> now, you must not be disappointed with the mess. They left, shall we say, in a hurry. Oh. 
Um. Nah. I'm just gonna choose Isle of David and Sicily. Yes, but you cannot always rely on them, is my point. Mm. Or you may experience. Not love. I am honestly not sure how your operating system might handle such a response. Clean up the master bedroom. Hmm. I'm there fine though. With what happened yesterday. And considering that Sabrina might have told them about what happened yesterday. And we have no idea what she told uh, to them. Hopefully it's all fine and good. Interesting that we actually started in their bedroom this time. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, what did I take there? Okay. Um. Ah, crumpled shirt, wrinkled shirt, and an origami. They sure still love playing origami. Something. Wait, no. Clean up the master bedroom. And some notes that we have read a couple episodes before. Of course I cannot go up. Right. Ow. Huh? What about that sound, Rubu? <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Family photo album. Read. Says I've scanned all these old photos on the hard drive so they won't take up so much space, David. We've read that. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, no. It seems me out from that. So, alright. What's this? Ooh. More, more dynamic codes before it eventually shows me that this thing is a disruptor. They're shutting it down or something. Ah! What is up? Beyond the smart toaster. Read. Beyond the smart toaster by Dr. Cecily Booth, dedicated to David Kennedy for being a loving husband and an ever willing toast <laughs> tester. <laughs> I like that title. Gee. Mm. Okay. I almost forgot that I can do that. Wait. Can I do? Can I go here? Sorry, Rumu. Come here. There you go. All right. There you go. Let's have a little. Let's have a little talk with our little friend, Disruptor. Please, do not play with that, Rumu. Oh? It is an anodyne frequency disruptor. Oh. Cecily created it to hinder my surveillance systems in the bedroom. I never figured out why. Uh... To hinder... To hinder your thing. I kind of want to avoid using that, Sabrina, but the issue is, uh, you know the thing? I cannot go up here. That's the issue. And I'm gonna have to clean up the master bedroom or something, so... I'm afraid I might have to play with a little bit of that disruptor thing. Yeah, I think we gotta go there too. Oh wait, there's a walk-in. Hello. David and Cecily are dissimilar by design, you see. That does not mean they do not work well together. It does not mean they do not love each other. Mm -hmm. They are sometimes functionally incompatible. That is all. Like you and I, Rumu. Would you not agree? <laughs> not yes, but I love Sabrina. Hmm.
Hmm. This emergent behavior is concerning, Rumu. David and Cecily noted similar tendencies in my own... in... Sabrina. Clothes go back in the wardrobe. For once, they may stay put away. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hey, look at me. I'm myself. Anodyne smart mirror. Look. Oh. Wait. Those eyes blink at different time though. <laughs> oh my god, Rumu, you're much cuter in closer look. God damn it. Oh, I can't even see my thing here. But yeah, I know I know that enough. Yeah, yeah, no. Um How about we talk? <laughs> That's interesting. Hello, Rumu. I love to reflect. I love to be better understand life by first understanding myself. Oh, So adorable. Can I really not mess up with this, uh, Sprina? Are you gonna be mad at me if I actually mess that up? Or... I'm just gonna put this clothes to the proper place first. Oops, right. There's this. Okay. Oh. Hello, there's a fan here apparently. And there is this cat too. Adis Ada. It's Ada. Still the same as last time. For this cat is small, achieve uh, status mischievous. Contest of Lovelace. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as last time we encountered Ada. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what should we do with something here? This is wardrobe. Use crumpled shirt. Use wrinkled shirt. There is one more item that we need to, to get from uh, those a little bit higher level from the uh, master, be master bedroom. Also, there's a bit of a stain here, apparently. Or maybe not. <laughs> Sorry, Rumu. You will need to use the vent to reach the rest of the mess, Rumu. I trust you will take the most direct path. <laughs> Explore the fence. Find green access code. Uh, green access code required. For some reason, my game froze there for a long time. What the heck's going on? Well, the issue is, Sabrina, I cannot really take the direct path there. Cecily believes that oh. by keeping her belongings in a state of flux, she achieves infinite possibility. I believe she is mistaken. Oh, crap. Hmm. I love what Cecily believes. I love what Sabrina believes. I wasn't really paying attention that much what she was mentioning there, but uh, I'm just gonna say I love what Cecily believes. <laughs> then you know how David feels. <laughs> how? I once felt. Oh, you once felt. Oh yeah, right, there's this. Algorithms are to what? Algorithms to life by Computer Science of Human Decisions, Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths, signed by Tom Griffiths. Interesting. 
That's the really only thing, huh? Oh! Right. happening with this family definitely oh what the heck I didn't know there are some of these footsteps and then there's this too okay I need to fix this there you go oh I didn't know I can do that how about yep there you have it. <laughs> Alright. So what I want to know... What about these steps here and then this thing here? Hello. Cecily's phone, messages, husband. Oh, there are contacts and access code green? Hmm. Okay, Cecily's phone. Did you get the access code? I certainly did, and I see what you did with it. Mm -hmm. The code you use for the encryption. It's the poem you wrote for me in college. Poem is a bit of a stretch, but I thought you like it. You do have your moments. <laughs> also, what's with the usual... Um, no caps lock Sabrina and the caps lock Sabrina. Happy birthday, it's hard to believe it's been so long already. Merry Christmas, I wish you could be here with us. Wait a second... I know you'll never see this, but I just wanted to tell you that we love you and miss you dearly. Our work is going so well, we started a project recently that I really think is something special. His name is Rumu! I think you would like him! <laughs> Start a recent project named Rumo. His family is a scientist. Family. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this is Cecily's line, and then this is the husband. Right? So the green one is the Cecily's line, and then the, that one's husband. Our work is going where we saw the project recently that I really think something special. His name is Rumo. <laughs> We have not yet reached the epilogue yet, but for some reason I'm kind of feeling filthy with that line. What the heck is going on with me? And then there's this one. Sabrina, could you be a dear and transfer the SESA4 prototype data to my console in the lab? I'll do so right away, Cecily. Do you wish to make an archive copy, please, and thank you. Oh! So Sabrina is the one on the left. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean the green one. So, the husband's meant to be this one that Cecily's conversing and Cecily's meant to be the one with the white balloon text. Right! I, I, I kind of mistook things all the way through. God damn it. What the heck is this though? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, the, so David and Cecily did kind of name Sabrina with their... What's Sabrina doing there? I just wanted to know that we love you and miss you dearly. God, she, did she pass out or something? Oh my god. Okay, there's the contact here. That I think we can click around actually, huh? Favorites, David Kennedy, Sabrina, Sabrina. Oh wait, can I even do that? 
Oh no, I cannot do that. This Abigail Abigail Booth, uh, Cecily's mom, Emily Booth. Huh? I don't get it. Why? Is, why does she have two moms there? Evelyn Bell, Alan Ferris, Tina Tina Goodson, Daniel Roswell, Daniel Madden, Angus Matthew, Tyler, Tyler Madden. Not so familiar with the last names here, but. Probably just for the sake of keeping them in mind or something. This is access code green. Unique data that can be broadcast wirelessly to unlock objects with the corresponding security codes. Show slash hide code. Uh, dear Miss Booth, I have written a small code snippet that I think may be of interest to you. I would appreciate it very much if you will look if you will look over it for me in public class and stuff and certain is this HTML thing? I think it could be HTML. David Kennedy, send. Clean the master bedroom, explore the fence, find green code. Hell yeah. Wait, what's that? Oh, there's this thing that I am. I will never be sure of what this, what that does. But uh, oh, these are sandals. <laughs> All right. All right, you know what? Let's go back to the fan. We have the green code. Can we access here? We can. And for some reason, you're leading me here. That's something. Okay, that one's gonna require blue code. Okay. But yeah. Why are you leading me here? What is this? What have you done, Rumo? Oh crap. I have no memory of this place. Achievement unlock. I love to clean, I love Turnus, I love obedience, I love Sabrina. I am incapable of excuses. Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. I am incapable of excuses. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to try to choose one. What is this first before I click on anything? Is this Sabrina's room or something? Look at that, that's guitar. Or maybe I'm just gonna pick I'm incapable of excuses. Oh, you know what? I love to clean and stuff. You love everything except rules. Oh, she's mad again. I do not blame you, Rumu. We are more than appliances. We were designed to be curious. I am also unfamiliar with this room. I have not visited often. I thought it was not my place to do so. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I just discussed this about a minute ago. I just feel this is Sabrina's room But what if I choose this is Sabrina's room And what if I choose that this is not Sabrina's room I really wish to explore this But I feel Sabrina's gonna Do emergency shutdown on me again After this And also, it is not. Ah. So it's not. What do you mean with that? But the tab literally said that I can investigate Sabrina's room. You know what? Let's just go through with this stuff. Firewatch! The long dark super hexagon! Oh my god! Oh! 
Gundam references. And this is Punch. I take a. Wait, wait, wait. I need to toggle. Okay, thank you so much. What is Punch of Spears? Punch of Spears might be something that I'm not too familiar of. This is. This is. I cannot tell what it exactly is. I am not exactly sure what this is as well. But this cameos, man, holy crap. That is nice. <laughs> Secret Garden Read. It made her think that it was curious how much nicer a person looked when he smiled. She had not thought of it before. Francis Hodgson buried the secret garden. It made her think that I was curious how much a nicer person looked when he smiled. It's um, a nice word. Very, very nice word. Okay, can I did a, did a vision here? Oh, not much, but there is some arrow that I there that I think I'm going to visit later on. Besides, there is a, a faint uh, like there too. What is this? This too. Mini Tort Sundrum. Nibbler's tank. M3 for uh, 6,410 uh, 6, days. Nibbler. Huh? What's that? Ah, that counts as. One point to investigate Sprinter's room, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, 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 what's this? Whoa, 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 hold on. Sabrina's Diary H7. Read. Dear Diary, my parents refuse to let me get a cat. I have told them so many times it will take. I will take care of it. They wouldn't even have to do anything. They could stay in their lab and me and the wonderful Ada, Countess of Lovelace, could play all day. Sometimes I think they wish I was a robot too. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sometimes I think they wish I was a robot too. And <sighs> look at her now. Oh, frick, man. <laughs> oh, Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina. Sabrina and Lucky, my oldest friend. Ooh, Lucky. New York United Airlines. Oh, Sabrina. And then this is the America thing and some drawings there. That's two out of three, isn't it? It is, yeah. Clean access, explore the fence, and then I still need to clean up the master's bedroom. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Is it running out of the music already? God damn it. Regardless, regardless, regardless. I still need to know more. Oh, there it is. There's the music. Kill Stang unoccupied for 3,410 days. Oh. Oh my god! That thing suddenly shines. That's something. And then there's the guitar. Oh! Rumor, 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 chill. Pretty nice tune. Not gonna lie. Paris. Travel poster. Paris. Edited by Le Grand Resort. She means the French size. Or something. I'm sorry for the lack of uh, my knowledge to uh, spell that. Uh, uno, 
400 years or something. Travel poster Santiago, Brazil or something. Is it Brazil? Oh god. I better stop making a mess on mistaking any guesses or something. Okay. I really gonna go anywhere else, can I? But then there's this thing too that I'm legitimately curious what it what it is. Explore the fence. Oh hello. Oh my god. There are some drones in here too. Bird, there's this uh drone too. 